Assalamu alaikum wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuh. The summary and peace out to the rest of you. Black Heart of Sign of Black in again asking you to hit that share button. If you hit like or subscribe, thank you. I don't have time to go through all of the whys. This time, you know the drill. The message is more important than the messenger. I may have to speak quickly in this case. I promised in my last recording that I was going to offer up a defense for the men that are considered to be at the bottom of the uh, market value with regard to romance, sex, or marriage. Any sort of mating market value. Generally, men would be, these men will be referred to as incels. Even, by their, the, even they themselves may call themselves incels. <laughs> these are men who have the label applied to them and oftentimes uh, accepted. This is one time I'm going to offer defense for the white and black ones equally. I don't know how true the stereotypes are about them. I don't know how many of them actually are just sitting in their parents' basements and playing video games and never seeing sunlight and uh, are walking around with halitosis because they never brush their teeth and are wearing adult diapers because they're playing video games for three days straight without going to the bathroom because they can't break away from the console or they'll lose the game. I, I, I don't know how true all these stereotypes are. I don't have the stats on that. What I do have is the knowledge that there are men who are at the bottom and they understand that they are, other men understand they are, and the women understand it. I understand that many of the Western women will take regular run of the road normal men like myself, many of the men in the manosphere, and will compare us to incels even though we're not. And then when they actually do come across an incel, then they understand that there's actually a different category as far as their own desires are concerned. I understand this, though. While I will say, don't call us incels, I'm also going to say this. Don't even say anything about them. Don't even attack them. Now, granted, I disagree with the ones of them who hurt themselves, who hurt others. I disagree with the ones of them that actually do sit in their parents' basements and don't work uh, when they can and, and just sort of waste the lives away. But by the same token, let's understand this. I disagree with some of the things that uh, they may do, may do if they fit the stereotypes for their own benefit. You may disagree with some of the things they do for the benefit of your bosses. I'm talking to you gynocrat goons and you matriarchal man dingoes. It doesn't matter if I address the gynocrats and the matriarchs. Your bosses, they ain't going to listen no way. We already know that. That's why 700 of them were effing Jason Roger Pope in Florence County, South Carolina. They ain't going to listen to nobody. I could tell them the best advice in the world. They would do the opposite because of two things. One, it's good advice. And two, because I'm a black man telling them. Maybe not black enough. But I'm a black man telling them, so they're going to do the opposite. Because ain't no nigga going to tell none of them what to do. Who going to check us, boo? You know, when they say boo, they talking about us, and including you. What I do understand is that um, if you are a gynocrat goon or a matriarchal man dingo, you are either viewed by the women as an alpha meaning they want to screw you, or you view it as a beta, meaning they don't want to screw you, they just want all the non-sexual benefits from you. If you are an incel, they don't want, or maybe they want the non-sexual benefits from you, but they know they ain't never going to get them, and they ain't ever going to give you the sexual benefits. That's if you're an incel. But the thing is this, the incels are the ones that actually may be more intelligent than both of us for one reason. They are the ones, they put themselves in a position in which the women will leave them the hell alone. Talk about the Western, uh, the Western woman, Becky and Sapphire. The BITCH won't really pursue them for anything, and that puts them in a good position. Now, if the stereotype is true and they don't have jobs traditionally, Okay, sure, they should employ, uh, they should get themselves employed to take care of themselves and not live off the parents. That's better for them. But I'm not going to sit up here and tell them that they need to take the self-improvement ideology in order to improve the situation with women. There's no reason to tell them that. They can take on self-improvement, go to the gym, get a good job. Guess what? 
they're still not going to be pursued. They may simply not be ran away from as quickly and as readily as they are now, but they're not going to be pursued even if that's what they deserve. Some have said it. Women are never going to approach you. No, attractive women won't. But, <laughs> of course, the you know, ugly ones will. But, um, I mean, let's call it what it is. If you are the one that they view as alpha, you either know the games that Western B-I-T-C-H's play, or you don't have to know the games because they don't require the, that of you. <laughs> You're already selected. You're getting buns. Okay. If you are the one they view as beta, you don't know the games that they play. And that's why they're looking for you because they can play the game on you if you don't know they're playing the game. They're coming to you for the non-sexual benefits. All the entertainment they're providing to the ones they consider alpha, you foot the bill for. Now, and then if you are alpha and they get pregnant, they're still going to try to get child support out of you too. See, they don't leave either. They can get it from the alpha, they get it. They usually can't. If they can get it from the beta, they get it. They're going to take that where they can get it. Either way. And even the alphas, even the ones they view as alpha, meaning just that they view them as select, they still also view them as beta too, to a certain extent. And like I said, alpha and beta are terms that are problematic anyway, but I'm speaking from their understanding. Now, let's say that you are an incel, or what they would may call an omega if they want to use the Greek alphabet again. The alpha doesn't have to react to the games because he benefits from them or he doesn't have to know them. The beta needs to react. He's the normal guy. The beta's not some inferior male. He's just a normal man. But he has to react because the games are not fair to him. If she can put the beta in the category of the incel, she would love to do it. But the incel withdraws. He knows that there are games, but he doesn't know what they are. He does not give a rat's behind what the games are. He withdraws, and he does not accumulate anything to the knowledge of these women that they could come and take away from him later because they will not give him the draws. Good. Smart move. Accumulate, but don't let them know you have it. They're not bending over the couch. And granted, I'm not promoting fornication. But by their own rules, and they don't believe in anything against fornication, they've got no scruples morally with fornication, they're not bending over your couch, though, just, just your couch. They're not, bend, they're not giving you none. Okay, then, fair enough. You don't give them anything. And for many men, <laughs> there's really not a reason to go, around, to go out there and exhaust themselves accumulating other stuff. And if there really is no other reason to do it, okay, I can't sit up and tell them to get out there and hustle and grind if it's not going to make them happy in the end. What I can tell them is distract yourself with the things that do make you happy now. And I guess according to the stereotype, it's the video games. But that's a stereotype. I mean, it may be something different for most of them in real life. Whatever the case is, all right, distract yourself with something that does make you happy. Chasing money that's going to get up and run ain't going to make you happy. And chasing them and they're going to get up and run and run straight to the police is not going to make you happy. So, you know what? Do what does. I really can't sit up here and knock their withdrawal from uh, the society except to the extent that they hurt themselves or hurt their parents. I really can't knock it otherwise. Now, going out and committing acts of violence against women, I can't condone that either. Naturally, none of us can. So when some of them flip out and they go and they they go on shooting sprees of running people over with vehicles, I can't sit up and say, yeah, yeah, that's right. I can't say something like that. What I can say is to, to, to you gynocrat goons and you matriarchal mandingos and to your bosses, don't act like you didn't have a hand to play in it. You just didn't mean for it to go that far. But don't act like you had no hand to play in it at all. That's what I would say to you. That's what I have to say to you. 
the incel. Though I would tell you not to call us that. The incel was created the same way the alpha is created, the same way the beta is created by your boss. These things don't really even exist. It's just your bosses that create these things based on their own VPS. And by the way, Edward Anderson came up with vaginal positioning system. Um, I stand corrected on that. Thanks for the uh, for the update, Don Calypso. <laughs> they just create these categories based on the vaginal positioning system. And some people have decided to come along and use the words alpha, beta, and incel to explain these categories based on, again, just the women. But at the end of the day, uh, they create these and they create them with their games. They don't create them really with anything else other than just the games they play. Oh, he just has something special about him. No, there's something objective about it. That's why all y'all are chasing after him, but you don't want to tell us what it is because you don't want more of us to acquire the same thing. That's all. Even though that doesn't suit you, you don't want more of us to acquire the same thing because that would suit us. And so what it really means is that your nature is for us to suffer. And that's all it is. If what you're obeying is your nature and not your socialization, then your nature is for us to suffer. Now, if that is your nature, then your nature does not deserve to be respected. If it is your socialization that calls for us to suffer, then that does not deserve to be respected. The incel, likewise, is simply another creation. And I'm going to tell you this. I'm ta again, I'm talking to you goons and you mam dingoes. Because talking to your boss ain't going to do nothing except inspire them to do the exact opposite of what I'm saying because I'm a black male. Not black enough, according to them on the, uh, the mating market, but too black for them to listen. So what I'm going to say to you about your boss is this. If she could, if any of them could, um, put a regular normal man they consider beta into the incel or omega man category, they would do it. And that goes for you too. If they're not already giving you them walls and, and draining your testes on their cervix to make you happy, then they see you as beta. If they could put you as a beta into the incel category, they would do it. How do I know this? They try to put alphas into the beta category. That's how I know. See, the Western broad, including your boss, the Sapphire, is the only one in the world that has ridiculous height requirements, but she wears high heels to further eliminate those men. She's the only one with ridiculous income requirements, but she insists on competing for high paying jobs, even to the point of trying to lobby for these jobs instead of trying to study and, and get the skill to compete. But also including studying and getting the skill to compete. She's the only one that will compete with you in specifically every metric by which she determines if you were eligible for her or not trying to reduce you. She is the only one who will have ridiculous income requirements and then try to spend you into poverty, which would then make you ineligible to stay with her. She's the only one that does that. She's the only one that would say that you've got to be in, in, in a, a Superman type frame all the time and then turn around and cuss you out for being insensitive. She's the only one that tells men to do the things that make them ineligible in her eyes. She's always trying to not only grab the man with the most so-called status, however she perceives it, but she's also trying to drag that him down to a lower status, even though she needs the status. Only the Western B-I-T-C-H goes that far. Now, she's going to try to do this to the alpha, trying to drag him down to beta. What you think she's going to try to do to you is she already views you as beta. What's, what's next? Like I just said, the omega, the incel. Now, we as men are more complex than that. I understand that. And there are a bunch of letters in the Greek alphabet. So if you were going to try to use the entire Greek alphabet 
to describe every single man. You'd run out of letters before you ran out of personality types. But this is how we are. This is not how they understand us, though. They don't understand us that way. That's why they can have, I don't know, all these different personality types themselves as women. But when it comes to how they're going to treat you, they're only about two or three categories. And as you know from experience, if you are a regular normal man, that which means they count you as beta, you can judge how they're going to act towards you by nothing more than their own appearance. That's the reason for it. They got all these different personality types like we do, but not when it comes to men. When it comes to women, we still have different personality types. So if they can turn you into the incel, they would. So frankly, the point is that every man, even the most so-called alpha of the alpha, is lucky that he's not an incel. That's all. Because again, at what point do you know any of these Western women, especially if they were attractive, to have sat any, any man down when he was a young boy and told him the game so that he would not accidentally, unknowingly, and unwillingly wind up being an incel? That's not the case. That doesn't happen. Because if it did, who would choose that when they're young? Oh, I'm going to be involuntarily celibate. That's not something you choose. It has to choose you. If you choose it, you would be a vol cell, not an, not an incel. But look, again, that's what we, we're going back to this again. Again, it comes back to the fact that they want men to be involuntarily celibate because of whatever reason, something dark, either in the socialization or the nature. I don't care which one. They want to see this. It, they get a kick out of it. They get a thrill. And I don't care what the reason is. I'm saying that if they ain't going to come out and educate their male relatives when they're boys so that they don't wind up this way, they're not fit aunts or grandmothers or mothers or big sisters. And they can take the blame for the existence of the men they don't want. It's up to them. It wasn't us guys back in the 70s and 80s saying to each other, you need to be more sensitive. No, that wasn't us. That was them. We weren't the ones saying you need to talk to them more. That was them. And what happened when men followed it? The rise of the incel, so to speak, or the, rather the growth of the incel. That's it. And frankly, truth be told, in many parts of history, they've relegated most men to that incel position. Truth be told, that's really what happened. Because this, they, they, when they don't control the sexuality, um, it goes like this. It winds up like this. So either they have to control it themselves or we males have to control it for them. Which one is it going to be? But I think I've talked enough. Thank you for being patient. I appreciate that. Um, I hope that what I've said won't be true one day but in the meantime I hope it's a benefit Blackheart sign and blackout Assalamu alaikum and black male power